just a chub in your head, son. You made me boogie in my head. I'm just a chub in your head, son. Swimming in the hot sun Let's go naked, don't need no option I am just swimming in the hot sun Let's go naked, don't need no option
get weird Why can't we just all run and hide from all of this good All my planning, I'm gonna stay within Why can't you open up and try to let me in good I feel it, like I'm out of hell And you come complicate things when I'm doing well Cause it only the fun is for you girl
Wonder why, I wonder why I keep on trying to stay Can't break away, I realize That I might just need to find another way Another day All I know is that I need to let go I can't make it alone oh. So just take it slow Walk into the unknown Behind your eyes, see the lights and I wonder why I was blind Out of my mind, right from the start You were small in my missing part and you took my heart
Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats and remember to silence your cell phones. The show will begin shortly. If you are not seated by 4.55 p.m., you will be held in the lobby until an appropriate interval. Just you wait till I take you home. We've got no future, we've got no past. Here today, built to last. In every city and every station, from Lake Geneva to the Finland station.
Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats and remember to silence your cell phones. The show will begin shortly. If you are not seated by 4.55 p.m., you will be held in the lobby until an appropriate interval. Please be advised that this production may contain strobe lighting effects, sudden loud noises, and the use of a confetti cannon. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats and remember to silence your cell phones. Please be advised that this production may contain strobe lighting effects, sudden loud noises, and the use of a confetti cannon. I'm 
Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats and remember to silence your cell phone. Please be advised that this production may contain strobe lighting effects, sudden loud noises, and the use of a confetti cannon. And now, please welcome Seven News Chief Meteorologist Veronica Johnson. She's on your side with weather, weeknights on 7 News at 5, 6, and 11 p.m. And her co-host, Yoshi Amal, tonight's Masters of Ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, honored guests, welcome to the opening ceremony for the 2023 National Cherry Blossom Festival, one of the world's greatest celebrations of spring. Yay! Thank you for joining us tonight. We honor the 111th anniversary of the gift of trees from Tokyo to Washington, D.C with outstanding performances from talented artists from the U United States and my home country, Japan. Absolutely, Yoshi, and how fantastic it is to be on stage with you again for the second year in a row. Yes. <laughs> I am so honored that the Ch National Cherry Blossom Festival once again, thought of me <laughs> to be an MC for this event again. And I'm glad again to be working with you again. Do yeah. you know, I remember a little bit of what you taught me last time? Last year we did. Actually, I did. Mm -hmm. The very special private samurai sword fighting lesson for you on the stage. Do you guys remember? Yes! yes! You still remember the technique. A, a little bit. Okay. Let's see. Let me show you. <coughs> Bato! Bato means draw the sword. Seigan no kamae. Jodan no kamae. Jodan means upper. Not yet. <laughs> upper, upper. From this position, shomen giri. No. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> Be careful. All right, after the fight, you need to clean up the sword, chiburi. Hmm. And no to put away the sword into the sheath. <laughs> and they bow. He's so good. I think that's good enough. So by the way, Veronica, did you know the National Cherry Blossom Festival is a 501c3, not-for-profit organization? Many of our great events featured over these next few weeks are free. You know, Yoshi, I did know that. One of the many reasons that we can enjoy the National Cherry Blossom Festival is because all the events are accessible to the public, whether it's in person or online. That's an easy way to do it. This would not be possible without the continued support of all of the festival's wonderful sponsors and supporters. A special thank you to Leadership Circle sponsors, Events DC, Woo. and Amazon. Okay. Festival host sponsors, Chase, a &A. A, a Hilton, TCMA, a Drew company for the Ronald Reagan Building and International Trade Center, 
Downtown DC Business Improvement District and Mars Incorporated, as well as the many other sponsors and supporters that you will find listed in tonight's program. Yep. Let's take a look at some of the show-stopping programming the festival has planned for the next four weeks. You feel good? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I like it, I like it. I'm sure after seeing this, all of you are going to spring it on and go all up this season throughout a city in bloom. And figure out how many of these events you can get to. Indeed, and tonight we get things started with the star-studded performances, including traditional Japanese folk music, rising Japanese classical musicians, and even a Japanese pop boy group. Oh, yes. Kicking off this year's National Cherry Blossom Festival opening ceremony. We'd like to welcome Anna Sato and Toshiyuki Sasaki. That's right, originally born on the island of Amami, Ana Sato's raw and powerful voice carries in it echoes the spirits of the islands. She joined Toshiyuki Sasaki, whose drumming style is often praised as being poetically sensitive, yet immersely powerful. Ever since the first collaboration in 2016, they have traveled and they've toured worldwide together. And today they've come to share their impactful evolutionary arrangements of Shimo Uta style music with all of us. Originally, they were scheduled to perform at the opening ceremony in 2020. It was canceled due to the pandemic, but after three years, they're finally back. 
please give a warm welcome to Ano Soto and Toshiyuki Sasaki and prepare to immerse yourselves in the world of Shimo Uta. Yay!
Thank you. Thank you so much, Anna Sato and Toshiyuki Sasaki. Ah, mm. That was an act worth waiting three years for. Let's give another round of applause. Because I'm going to tell you, that's just one of the many highlights that you're going to see at this year's festival. And to talk more about what's in store this year, I want to invite to the stage now National Cherry Blossom Festival President Diana Mayhew and Board Chair David Moran. Thank you, Veronica and Yoshi, and I hope you all are enjoying the show so far tonight. Yay. On behalf of the National Cherry Blossom Festival Board of Directors and staff, we want to invite you to spring it on this year as we get engaged and embrace all that the festival has to offer to celebrate the iconic Cherry Blossom Festival with four weeks of fun, food, culture, and entertainment. Tonight is one of many events and programs and exhibits that happen all throughout the 2023 festival through the collaboration of more than 35 participating organizations. Among all of these incredible events, the opening ceremony is particularly special as we celebrate our roots and our history and the gift of trees from 1912. Thank you again to the Japan Foundation for your partnership and once again helping us present these amazing performances. We would especially like to acknowledge Masaya Shimayama, Director General of the Japan Foundation New York, who is with us tonight. A, spe <laughs> a special wel welcome also to Ambassador Tomita, <laughs> and our very own Mayor Bowser. <laughs> the continued support and partnership with the Embassy of Japan government of the District of Columbia, and of course the National Park Service, is critical for the National Cherry Blossom Festival to carry out its mission each year. Thank you to all of the supporters of this evening's opening ceremony. Japan Commerce Association of Washington Foundation, Inc., Toyota North America, Inc., the Japan National Tourism Organization, Daiichi Sankyo, and of course the beautiful historic Warner Theater. Other contributors include Ryuju Ueno Foundation, Kayasaki Heavy Industries USA Inc., Event EQ, and MUFG Bank Limited. <laughs> With so many incredible experiences available through the festival showcasing Japanese culture, you may feel inspired to further immerse yourself by traveling to Japan. As I understand it, Diana, Japan is now open for traveling and welcoming visitors. Is that right? Yes, yes, David, and several of our festival supporters here promote tourism to Japan. In the spirit of inspiring travel, we want you to watch this video. We invite you to watch this video, courtesy of the Japan National Tourism Organization.
I have to say, I'm already dreaming of my own trip to Japan now. <laughs> and to further inspire our audience to start planning their own trip, JNTO is giving away two prize packs of a suitcase and supplies to inspire your own travels to Japan to two lucky winners in tonight's audience. When I call your seat number, please stand. The first winner is sitting in the pink section, row N, seat 123. There we go, our first winner. And our second winner is sitting in the purple section. Row CC, seat 112. <laughs> Congratulations, winners. You're being visited now by our festival team member who will tell you how to claim your prize. And now, on with the show. The Ryuji Ueno Foundation is presenting our next act, Petel, award-winning charismatic musicians, violinist Mira Ito and world-renowned cellist Benedict Klockner. They bring their classical mastery to the main stage in a high-octane performance of classical master pieces. The artists featured have worked with Dr. Ueno on his music theory of Delta Method. It's an analysis of music based on brain physiology. Enjoy. Thank you. 
すごいですね。Thank you, Peto. Peto, that was incredible. It sure was.、Yeah. That was just an amazing, amazing celebration of the iconic cherry blossoms that we're celebrating tonight. I could almost envision the cherry blossom trees as they played so beautifully, and throughout the festival. But the blossoms themselves, they haven't thrived, arriving in a sea of pink and white for more than a hundred years on their own. That's right. These special trees require year-round care and tending, and the National Park Service does this important work so that future generations may enjoy the blossoms and all that they represent. That's right. Year-round, they care for the trees <laughs> that we love so very much. Let's hear now from Jeff Reinbold, superintendent of the National Mall and Memorial Parks, for a bit more on the important work that happens. Hello, I'm Jeff Reinbold, superintendent of the National Mall and Memorial Parks. We in the National Park Service are thrilled to welcome back visitors to the National Mall for this year's National Cherry Blossom Festival. We are the proud caretakers of the beautiful and historic cherry trees that have come to symbolize the annual return of spring. To our nation's capital, the cherry trees were a gift of friendship from the people of Tokyo to Washington D.C. The first 3,000 trees were planted in 1912. Today, more than 3,700 stand around the tidal basin, and more than a dozen species of cherry trees extend throughout the National Mall. The National Park Service has been the steward to these natural treasures. Their care has been entrusted to the members of the Tree Crew for National Mall and Memorial Parks. Their dedication is the single most important factor in the success and continued survival of the flowering cherry trees. Whether you travel to see the blooms in person or enjoy the blossom experience online with the Bloom Cam and other virtual resources. We hope you'll join us in Washington's grandest springtime tradition. It sure is. A huge thank you to the National Park Service for their continued care of the cherry blossom trees. And you can be a part of helping. You can support their efforts by adopting cherry trees on the National Mall. To learn more, how to make a gift to adopt a tree, or to celebrate or honor a loved one, visit nationalmall.org. There's something about the cherry trees that has the power to really bring people together—a vibrant community united in celebrating the season through programs such as petal porches. An art in bloom leadership circle sponsor Amazon partners with the festival to continue to grow that sense of community through our region. Please welcome Patrick Philippi, senior manager of community engagement at Amazon. Well, good evening, everybody. I'm here mainly to do one job, which I'm excited to introduce our next performer. But before I did that, just wanted to really briefly say I'm thrilled to be here on behalf of Amazon. In addition to getting your packages to you on time, we also absolutely love the National Cherry Blossom Festival. You may know we're building our new second headquarters across the river in Arlington, and as we do that, we are really committed to being a good neighbor and a good partner to this region. We love the Cherry Blossom Festival for a lot of reasons, but really, I think the one reason is it brings this region and this city together for what is, I think, one of the best festivals in the entire world. And I think everybody here would definitely agree with that. Amazon this year is really excited to be presenting the Petal Porches program again. I hope all of you are decorating your porches in all different shades of pink. 
We're also excited to see extended, uh, expanded programming in Arlington and wanted to make one plug for Pink in the Park that is next week at Longbridge Park and will be a really fun uh, music festival sort of vibe and event. So hope to see you guys there. All right, for our next performance, I am here to introduce Japanese marimbist Mika Stoltzman. While currently a resident of the United States, her heart will always belong to Japan. Like the magnificent cherry blossoms that continue to bloom in DC, she continues to bloom her marimba music around the world. Tonight, she will perform a trio with Pedro Gerardo on bass and Kevin Hiramoto on drums. Please enjoy.
Yeah, nervous to the performance. Ningen wa da to omoena. And now, a special presentation from one of our regional Tony winning theater companies, a song from Steven Sondheim's musical Pacific Overtures, now playing through April 9th at the Signature Theater in Arlington. Actually, I worked with them as a fight director. So, thank you. A little bit uh, more. And <laughs> so, not only singing part, but the fighting scenes should be great. So, don't miss it. Okay. <laughs> the show takes place in 1853 Japan as the floating kingdom faces an American expedition intent on forcing the isolationist country open to trade. Here is a company of Pacific Overtures singing the opening number, the advantage of floating in the middle of the sea. Does it? No fighting scene was there. <laughs> okay. So good. This entire evening has filled me with so much pride and joy being in DC with all of you while representing my home country, Japan. And now, we'd like to take a few minutes to remind us of the importance of what this event symbolizes. Yes. That's right, Yoshi. While the festival encompasses the entire capital region, it celebrates the gift of trees to the city of Washington. Here to represent our city is the mayor of the District of Columbia, Muriel Bowser. Please join me in welcoming Mayor Bowser now to the stage. Well, good evening, everyone. It is beautiful to see you here in the beautiful Warner Theater in downtown Washington, D.C. And it's my pleasure to welcome you to my beautiful hometown. I'm excited to be here with you tonight, uh, and I want to acknowledge and thank our team uh, at the National Cherry Blossom Festival, led by Diana Mayhew. Please give them a big round of applause. I'm also thrilled uh, to have the partnership with the Embassy of Japan, along with Events DC, Amazon, 
the National Park Service, and the Japan Foundation. Give all of our sponsors a round of applause. Each year, residents and visitors come to the Tidal Basin to experience the beautiful cherry blossom trees. I want to remind you that we also have cherry blossom trees throughout Washington, D.C. at Oxenrung Park, the Arboretum, and so many beautiful places lining the neighborhoods of Washington, D.C. The festival draws over one million and a half visitors every year and gives us an opportunity to celebrate the enduring friendship and partnership between the people of Washington, D.C. and Tokyo. It has been 111 years since the mayor of Tokyo first gifted D.C. 3,000 cherry blossom trees. The Embassy of Japan has been a long-standing partner to the National Cherry Blossom Festival, and we are so grateful for their friendship. I now have the honor of introducing the Ambassador of Japan to the United States, His Excellency, Ambassador Tomita. Thank you. Good evening, Mayor Bowser, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. How is everyone tonight? Are we all enjoying the festivities? Uh, we have been already treated to so many wonderful performances tonight. I didn't even realize the time passing. Let's. Uh, give uh, another round of applause for the uh, enormous talent and artistry we have witnessed so far. <laughs> this has been a terrific week for me. On Tuesday, I was in Miami, <laughs> joining the Japanese fans supporting Team Japan at the uh, World Baseball Classic Final. I'm too diplomatic to remind you who won the game. <laughs> but you know, last year, the year 2023 marked the 150th anniversary of introduction of baseball to Japan. Then on Wednesday, I had the pleasure of hosting the gala dinner for celebrate the centennial of the National Museum of Asian Art, which boasts one of the best collections of Japanese art in this country. And today, we have gathered here to officially open the Cherry Blossoms Festival 2023, 111 years after more than 3,000 cherry blossom trees made a long journey from the city of Tokyo to this city. Looking back the events of this week, I'm incredibly grateful that our two countries have been connected for so long and in so many different ways. Among all these connections, the cherry blossom in Washington, D.C. is very special. Last year, a festival season programs drew more than one point a million people to the city. And it is great to see the festival welcome back to DC visitors from all over the world. One important aspect I'd like to point out is that chili blossoms are in fact very delicate and fragile flowers. And in order for us to enjoy these mesmerizing blooms for the short window of two weeks. There are people who work tirelessly, rain or shine, to care for these trees. I would like to express my utmost gratitude to the experts at the National Park Service.
Additionally, without the leadership of Mayor Bowser and NCBA President Diana Mayhew, this magnificent festivity would not be able to bloom as vibrantly and powerfully as it does today. And of course, there are many other individuals and organizations from volunteers to corporate sponsors without whose dedicated support this festival would not be possible. I'm deeply grateful for their contributions. And of course, the people of this wonderful city, I mean all of you. Thank you so very much for caring, enjoying, and loving Cherry Blossom for more than a century. Having traveled around the world during my 40-year diplomatic career, I can think of no other city more special than this, than this one. So on behalf of the Japanese people, I simply cannot thank you enough. I hope you all are able to catch the cherry blossoms at peak bloom in the full glory and continue to show interest in Japan and the Japanese culture. And without further ado, please enjoy the rest of the entertainment for this evening. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. For years, Japan and the United States has maintained a historic friendship. And we're honored to have representatives here with us today to mark the occasion. Of course, Mayor Bowser and His Excellency Tomita will now take part in the symbolic moment of friendship by opening a kusudama, or Japanese piñata, to officially commence the 2023 National Cherry Blossom Festival. Yoshi, take it away! Okay, Ambassador Tomita-san and Mayor Bowser-san, Please hold these strings. Don't pull down yet. Just hold. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right. And now we're going to do Kusudama countdown, and I need your help. Can you help me? Yeah. We're going to do it in Japanese still, OK? OK. Let's practice first. In English, we do three, two, one, go. Very easy, right? But Japanese. San. Good. Ni. Ichi. Dozo. Good, good, good. Okay, this time all together. All together. Ishoni, okay? San. Ni. Ichi. Dozo. Nice, nice, nice. A little bit more energy. Okay, then if I say dozo, please pull down. All right? Okay. So, are you ready, Ambassador Tomita san? I am. Are you ready, Mayor Bowser san? I am. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Kusudama countdown. Honban desu. Wow, after such a delightful moment of friendship, 
officially now the festival is open. I can only think of one final act to help us close out tonight's opening ceremony. <laughs> Woo! Have you heard of Travis Chapin? <laughs> the newest group to, debu to debut from the legendary Japanese talent agency, Johnny and Associates, a formidable seven member song and dance unit named in honor of Michael Jackson's award-winning American choreographer, Travis Payne incorporating an original mix of modern jazz and hip hop choreography they have placed in the top 10 internationally at the 2022 World of Dance Championship Week, also taking home the ultimate crowd favorite award, Yoshi. Yeah, Travis Japan then made a J-pop history when their debut single, Just Dance, released October 2022 made them the first Japanese act to break into the top five on the Billboard Global X US chart. Returning to the stage after a sold out concert series in Japan, the group is excited to once again represent their dreams of cultural ex exchange and international friendship to even more audiences through the unmatchable ming magic of entertainment. Let's welcome to the stage, Travis Japan! <laughs>
original song. My dream in Hollywood. Three, two, one, let's go! We go to Hollywood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We go to Hollywood. Every show that you see here, giving me another experience. This is how we do on air. Life's a musical, alright. Big power, you're coming. Thank you for inviting us and thank you for welcoming us. We love you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's move on. It's gonna be last song. Okay. <laughs> Are you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Are you guys ready? Ready? Yeah. Are you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. It's perfect. Okay. Let's enjoy the our. Debut single. Just dance. DJ. DJ. Matsurina. Travis Chappelle. So yeah. Just. Just move it! 
I'll feel better Ooh, We can do it together uh -huh. Kick your chair, just get up Moves. He was doing them backstage. Wow, they're, they're so popular. Oh, they are. Ah. Travis Japan, you cannot forget that name for sure. Oh, uh, yeah. Great, great, great. What a performance. Mm -hmm. Listen, for one last time, Yoshi, mm -hmm. we want to bring out the performers. Sure. So they can take a final bow. Yeah. And everybody can say how much they appreciated everything that they mm -hmm. saw and heard here today. Good idea. <laughs> All right. Put your hands together for Pedal! Beautiful, beautiful! Beautiful performance. Unbelievable. Put your hands together for Mika Stoltzman! Mika Put your hands together for Anna Sato and Toshiyuki Sasaki. Yeah. Fantastic show. And put 
sure our hands together for Travis Japan. Everyone take a bow. Be sure to join us for more festival fun with wonderful events and programs still to come through April 16. Visit nationalcherryblossomfestival.org for more information and a full schedule of events. And don't forget, because of that little thing of the weather getting in the way yesterday, the National Cherry Blossom Festival has been moved to tomorrow, Sunday, 10.30 until 4 p.m. Bring the family, it's free. A free good time on the grounds of the Washington Monument. So thank you so much everyone for coming. Have a wonderful evening and thank all of our acts here this evening. Woo! Thank you. 